Hey there, my name's Fletch from All Things Overlanding, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite areas to overland where I live. So hopefully this is really helpful for you if you're kind of landlocked and stuck like I am in the Midwest. I'm actually, I live in the northeast side of Indianapolis, Indiana, so I'm kind of dead central in Indiana. So for me, my favorite place to come overlanding and the place that I go most of the time is Hoosier National Forest. So I'm actually in Hoosier National Forest right now and I'm gonna be camping tonight. It's gonna to be a little bit cold, but the nice thing is when I drove in, no one is here. In the fall and winter, this place really clears out. So you get a ton of opportunity to find spots that you may not have found before and you can explore more. Um, Hoosier National Forest has a little over 200,000 acres. So it's a really big patch of land. Um, again, in sort of Southern Indiana. So not too far from where I live. If you're looking for super challenging trails or things like that, Hoosier National Forest doesn't really have that kind of thing or a lot of really nice like sites or anything like that to see. Um, it does have a cool little fire tower that you can kind of climb to the top of and see a really wide view of the forest from up high which is pretty cool but other than that what you're really going to get in Hoosier National Forest is a lot of gravel road exploration, a lot of really unique dispersed campsites and again it's totally free to come and hang out in and it's just a lot more private than like maybe a state park or a national park or a private campground. So if you are anywhere near Indiana or in the surrounding states, Hoosier National Forest is definitely a fun one to check out. And I've been coming here for about five years and I still am finding new spots all the time. So it's definitely a fun place to kind of explore and find different camp spots and just kind of have a good time. Also, it's very seasonal. So like in spring and summer, it's a completely different forest. It has leaves everywhere. It does not look like this where it's all kind of dead. And in, in the winter, it's super peaceful, super quiet. And again, the crowds kind of dry up. Like you can come out here and have your pick of the litter for where you want to camp, which is really, really nice. Um, so if you're kind of into some more light, casual exploring and camping, that kind of thing, versus the super challenging, like chainsawing through a million trees and overcoming a lot of off-roading obstacles, then Hoosier National Forest is a great option if you're somewhere in the Midwest. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more challenge, you can always go south. So another place that I really like to go is Land Between the Lakes in Kentucky. It's about four to six hours away from where I am in central Indiana, so it just kind of depends on where you are. But it is an amazing place. They have a bison uh, preserve in the middle of it. There are a bunch of really challenging, fun trails. So there is a ton of stuff to explore down there and even some waterside camp so if you go in like the summer or late summer or spring, you can actually get into Kentucky Lake or Barkley Lake. Those are kind of the two lakes that surround land between the lakes. That's why it's called land between the lakes. But you can actually swim in the water and have some spots that are kind of on the water's edge, which is really, really fun. Another place down in Kentucky that is about equally as far from me, four to six, seven hours, is the Red River Gorge. So that whole area is, again, a little bit more challenging trails, a lot more cool stuff to see. Um, so that is a good option as well. Now, if you're further north of Indiana, there is Manistee. National Forest. So that place is actually about seven or eight hours from me. It's really not too long of a drive, um, but it's probably the furthest. Uh, sort of a little bit more similar to Hoosier National Forest. Not quite as many challenging trails, but definitely more interesting than Hoosier National Forest from like a trail standpoint. Different ecosystem, different types of trees, tons of pines and things like that. So if you're looking to change things up, then Manistee National Forest may be a good option as well. But so those are kind of the main few places around me that I typically go. Um, I'm sure that I probably missed some. If you're in the Midwest and you've got some suggestions, post up in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you and I'd love to get some more ideas, right? If you aren't already a subscriber of my channel, I would love it if you guys would come and hang out with me. Uh, there will be a link in the description down below. I primarily focus on, on content for newer overlanders, a lot of do-it-yourself and budget-minded gear reviews and modifications and things like that. And I'm also a Nissan guy. So if you happen to be one of those weird people that actually likes Nissans, there's not a lot of us, come and check out my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber.